good Sunday morning, everybody. Hope everybody's staying warm where you're at. Uh, we're going to get started here in a moment with a word of prayer. And I uh, hope everybody's doing all right. I do want to say if uh, there's any need or um, any issues that you're having, please uh, reach out and let one of us know. Uh, see what we can do for you in that area. So we're going to be in Isaiah chapter 1 this morning. And I'm going to pray, and then we'll uh, get to our uh, devotional here. It should be about five to uh, seven minutes or so. So let's go Lord with a word of prayer. And hopefully that will give uh, folks uh, another moment or two to uh, tune in this morning. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. God, I thank you that uh, we have uh, homes to be in this morning, to be warm, that uh, we have food, we have um, uh, blessings abundant to sustain us in um this difficult situation with the weather pattern. I uh, pray for our time this morning in your word that you would remind us of who you are, uh, that we would be mindful of the plans you have for us, we'd be mindful of uh, your will and your desire for our lives, Lord. Um, may you grow us and teach us in your word, in Jesus' name, amen. So. One of the things that uh, is on my mind during something like this is obviously the weather, and I really wrestled with uh, what to do, uh, what to cover with this devotion, but uh, the weather is uh, something that's are just around us, and I thought what better topic to go at than look at the weather, and when we look at winter time, uh, I know for me this time of year it, it usually causes me to uh, have to work more, having to um, uh, just do more things to combat the weather, and uh, having to combat the weather and uh, doing things that normally I wouldn't have to do uh, because of this. So Isaiah chapter 1 is... Uh, passage we're going to look at here for just a moment and uh, the book of Isaiah is a prophetic book and we see here that he's laying out sins he's uh, God's talking to them about their sins and in the middle of all of this in the middle of judgment in the middle of a uh, difficult time he says to them in verse number 18 come now let us reason together and I find it interesting here that in the midst of God's judgment in the midst of uh, God telling um, the nation here of Israel, the the the, the um, southern kingdom, because Amos and Hosea are preaching in the northern kingdom, so the southern kingdom here, uh, in the middle of all the judgment that that God's pouring out here, He's saying, "Come, let us reason together." That He wants to have dialogue, He wants to have a relationship saith the Lord, though your sins be as scarlet. And it's, that's a very dark color. That's uh, I wish I had more time to go into the scarlet aspect of things, but I want to focus on the next phrase here. They shall be white as snow. Though they be crimson, they shall be as wool. And when you uh, see snow in Scripture, snow oftentimes is a picture of the purity of God, the righteousness of God, and I'm always reminded of this when I see snow piled up somewhere and I see how snow gets dirty. Now when you watch snow fall, it's, and it initially collects, it's very clean. And over a period of time though, the, the dirt from the road, the dirt from cars, tires, whatever it comes in contact with, gets all over that and it's not you know white anymore. But God's saying here, come let us reason together, even though your sins are dark, even though they're red even though they're they can be seen there's nothing that can be done about your sins humanly speaking God's saying I can I can take you and make you as white as snow I can uh, purify you I can take those sins take the consequences take the 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 eternal consequences that is of those sins and uh, I can reshape your destiny I can reshape your uh, direction so when we see snow, it ought to remind us of the love God has for us, the plan that God has uh, in, in redemption. And when each snowflake falls, uh, I'm often reminded that 
every snowflake's unique. There's there's no two snowflakes alike. Uh, when uh, when God designs a snowflake, if you will, it's it's all it's it's unique. And uh, when we're a little ways from the snow, we don't see it. But if you put a snowflake under a microscope, that's it's very detailed and it, and has a complex design, if you will. Um, the the winter weather sometimes causes me to to forget about just the scheme of things because I don't I'm not a fan of the cold. Um, I also don't like it super hot either. But uh, when we think of the cold, there's there's a reason that that cold comes and there's. Uh, animal life and plant life that, that hibernate in that time and although it seems like there's not a lot of things going on during that winter time those plants those animals while they're in that hibernation they're getting ready for that next season and um, perhaps today we can take this time and uh, of winter time and, and we can wait we can rest um, hopefully no one's having to get out in this it's very dangerous which is obviously why we canceled service today because very limited exposure in this kind of weather can, can lead to hypothermia or frostbite very, very quickly. Uh, so keep in mind that in the in the winter time, I was reading an article that talked about uh, the purpose of like winter weather and how uh, a winter wind comes and, and there's there's dead leaves on a tree and that, that winter weather comes through, especially the wind, and blows those leaves off of that tree. and uh, gets the the deadness out of there so that that life can get brought back and uh, you know this is uh, like I said this is a tough time if you're having to work outside and uh, I know for me and in, in, in my duties it's it's always trying to look at weather and see do we cancel do we have service and then at my uh, at my day job it's a lot of times having to work harder and, and dig students out of the snow and so forth uh, but but even with all of that, God has a purpose, and when it seems barren, um, God's still at work. Um, and, and Israel's situation, with all those sins and the um, judgment that God's getting ready to pour out on uh, on the nation of Israel as He's trying to warn them, uh, in the midst of all that, God's still at work, and, and in the midst of a barren weather pattern, if you will, God's still at work, and. I know I can look back at my life, there were times I just didn't think anything was going on, but God was still at work. So trust even on a day like today where it's, uh, let me look at my phone here and see what the temperature is, negative one right now. It was negative six when I woke up this morning. So at negative one degrees, God's still at work, um, even though I'm not at, I'm not out there working at it. You aren't going to catch me outside at all today. But um, in the midst of, of these types of situations, God is still at work. and. Um, God has a plan and God is uh, executing things and, and remember his love today just like when you when you see the snowfall remember uh, his purity and remember his love and, and his desire to uh, uh, take our sins and uh, nail those to the cross so that that way he could have a relationship with us because in the book of Habakkuk and I'll, I'll close with this in the book of Habakkuk it says that God can't even look at sin is that his eyes are so pure he can't even look on it so that's why Jesus Christ has to stand in the gap for us and God made that provision because he couldn't look at sin so he makes that provision so we he can have that uh, relationship with uh, you and I so hope that this broadcast went through okay I uh, hope this is a blessing to you uh, plan on uh, Wednesday it looks like it's gonna be about 35 so we'll um, meet together on Wednesday for our youth programs and our uh, Okay, about trying to get it out, but is it is the diesel done? Sorry about that, but uh, anyhow, Wednesday night we will have our uh, uh, regular service time. Uh, we're going to look at uh, how to study the Bible, part two. You don't want to miss that in our youth programs as well. Take care, be safe out there. God bless you.